What's up guys, Shadowbloke here, and welcome to the penultimate episode of my fists only run of Fallout 3. Now, I am getting very close to level 20, as if I go into my stats here, you can see that I'm level 19, so I've done a little bit of leveling up off camera since the last episode. The only thing you guys really need to know are what perks I got. So obviously at level 18, I got the paralyzing palm perk, which you get if you have an unarmed skill of at least 70, and it basically allows me to perform a special strike in VAT, which it only has a chance of doing it, so it's not a guaranteed kind of occurrence. But basically, it's um, it's like if I do this special strike, then it paralyzes the enemy for 30 seconds, which is really OP. And I can only do that strike if I'm completely unarmed. So it's the perfect perk for Harold Punch Party. And since there were no other perks that I really wanted to get like straight away, I just went for Lead Belly, so those are the only perks that I really got. So for this episode, I have three main objectives in order of importance. Number one is to kill a Super Mutant Behemoth, because as I've explained before, I have killed one, but because of problems that I was having with recording quite a while ago, the footage was never actually saved. So I am determined to prove to you guys that I can kill one. Objective number two is to kill a Deathclaw which I have done off camera, but not on camera, so I want to get that done. Objective number three, which I don't necessarily, like, it doesn't necessarily have to be done, like, during this episode, but it would be kind of good, I guess, is to hit level 20, because I've got a few ideas for what I want to do with Harold Punch Party when I hit level 20, so I'm hoping that we can get all those done. But for now, we need to go and search for a Super Mutant Behemoth, but the thing is, I didn't really know where any were, however, I have done some research, and I have learned that there are five super mutants in the game. I've already killed two of them, that bridge has turrets, I'm going away from it. I've already killed two of them, and I think I know where I can get to one from, well, from around about where I am anyway. If I can get away from these enemies, then we are going to fast travel deeper into the capital, well, Deeper into DC, at least, because we need to find the Capitol building. Because that's where one of the Super Mutants will be. Hell, if I happen to find all of them, well, I don't know. If I find all of them by some random chance, and I manage to kill all of them in this episode, then that's fine. But just one is good enough, really. So, we're going to head deeper in and see what we can find. There's the Capitol building. I'm no expert on Washington DC geography but I'm pretty certain that it's directly opposite from the Washington Monument anyway, so at least I can trust those instincts. And it looks like the super mutants from the last time I came here have spawned back, perhaps. So that'd be a nice warm-up. Ah, oh, that's just... I... I don't know. I don't have... I'm not even going to try and comment on that anymore. It just... It just happens so much now that it's just like, yeah, I can make a guy explode with my fists. What of it? I've still got this on hard mode from the last episode because... I've been playing the entire game from when I left the last episode to level up on hard mode, so that's definitely been helping me to level up much quicker. However, this Super Mutant Behemoth fight here could be a bit tough because there was a thing that I read about whereby the Super Mutant Behemoth might not necessarily be alone. In that, there is a chance that, well, he is going to be there, but there is a chance that he could be fighting against a group of Talon mercenaries. Which, if that's the case, then we could be in for a bit of a fight on our hands. Well, not necessarily me as such, but I don't really want the Super Mutant Behemoth to be fighting all those guys and then be weakened for a fight against me. I want to fight him at full strength, you know? But let's see what we've got around here. Oh, here we are. There's one Talon mercenary. There's two. There's, there's quite a lot of them. Okay then, right. Time to deal with this. Like a man. A man who desperately needs some things to help him out. I've also got a lot of food, as you can see by there, because, as you might have seen from one of the saves just there, I've had a little visit to Tenpenny Tower, so I stole as much stuff as I could, including as much food as I could, so that kind of avoids me having to use up my stim packs. Now then, am I going to get a strike on this guy? I just want to get up closer to him anyway. Nope, that'll take care of him anyway. 
There's one super mutant over there. I should probably take care of him. I have discovered the Capitol building. Oh yes. Knock him out. Now then. Oh, there's another guy. Oh, I've disarmed him straight away, I think. Where is he? Oh, no, you don't. Get back here. Zoom punch. Oh, there's the paralyzing strike. Oh, wow. That is just disrespect. Kick his head off like a football. Well, that's the Talon mercenaries taken care of. Or maybe... Oh, my God. There's a death claw. Oh, fuck. But he seems to be friendly. I don't know what's going on here. I'll have to take a look. What is going on here? There's Enclave soldiers. So the Death Claw is obviously being controlled by them. And we've got some Super Mutants. And now they're attacking me. Okay. This guy's going down straight away. Because he's got a rocket launcher. Or of course I could go down straight away. It looks like I paralyzed him. Well, I paralyzed somebody at least. Nope. I'm not letting you live with that thing in your hands. There we go. Right. Take care of him. I haven't forgotten about the death claw, don't worry. Now, I guess I'll just keep moving forward. Right. We've got a death claw now. He's pretty weak, but he's not actually going for me. This is strange. Well, I would rather leave him alone because he's weakened and I want to fight these enemies at full strength, so I guess we're going to leave this guy be. I, well, the only thing I can really do now is to loot the bodies and see what we can find. Maybe a Super Mutant Behemoth will pop up. Oh great, he's attacking me now. Okay then. Well, I didn't want to have to do this now, and it looks like he's probably going to kill me. So let me just quickly heal myself. I'm definitely going to have to find another one who's stronger than this guy. Oh, I've got him. I've got him on the ropes. Well, once you paralyze an enemy like this, it becomes a bit of a cakewalk, really. Nah, that didn't feel very satisfying. I need to find another death claw. More, I say. That's odd. There are no super mutant behemoths around here. I was certain there would be. Maybe... Maybe he's triggered by something? I don't know. Well, either way, I'm kind of disappointed, but at least we found that one death claw. I guess maybe... Hmm. I do have another lead I could follow on where a super mutant could be. So I'm going to head back to... Uh, Evergreen Mills, I think? No, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going anymore. I just want to get this done. I want to fight big enemies. I want to beat some... Beat the crap out of them and... Yeah, punching things. Perhaps if I go inside the Capitol building. I've never actually been inside, I don't think. Nah, there's no way there could be a guy in here. Or... What have we got here? Are those... Are those Talon mercenaries? They are, by the looks of it. Well, this is definitely leading somewhere, because I know that where some of these guys might be, there's a super mutant behemoth around here. So perhaps beating these guys up will lead me to them. Let me just jack myself up first. Oh, I don't even care. I've got enough money to buy all the psycho and medics that I want. And we've got super mutant masters. Okay. That guy's going crazy. I'll take care of the super mutants, I think. Because the Talon mercenaries aren't really a problem, but these guys are, because they have a lot of health. So I don't want to waste time just wailing on them. Get out of here. Even if I can't find a behemoth in here for any reason, or anywhere, this is definitely still a bit of a rough fight. Falcon Punch! Yes! Oh, I hear more gunfire. Where's it coming from? Aha! More dudes locked in combat. Sneak attack. 
And now I've dealt with your enemies, I will deal with you. Because everyone is my enemy. Well, there's the behemoth. Okay, we have got a lot of enemies in here. I am going to take care... That turret's not really going to do anything, I don't think. I'm going to take care of the Talon mercenaries, I think. Because then, perhaps, maybe the behemoth will be a bit easier. Well, not so much easier, but it would be more of my job to take him out rather than theirs. I don't want them doing it. Screw them. They don't deserve it. Well, now he's going after me. Paralyzing Palm. Oh no. Smash. Did I just hit another one? I must have done. Well, now he's going after me. Time to get the fuck out of here. Uh, right. Let's heal up. Do all the things. Yep, that'll be fine. Okay. It looks like we've got another suit mutant up here. And up there. Right. I need to take care of him if I can, but I don't know how I'm supposed to get up there. Um, oh shitting hell. How do I actually get up there? Can I even get up there? I don't know. Oh my god. This is, this is insane. Right, I'm gonna have to take care of this behemoth and maybe I can sort things out. Or maybe, let's kill him. Give me a, a little bit of breathing room. Oh shit. No. Get away! Oh my god, I'm about to die. Fuck! Screw it. This guy doesn't seem to discriminate. I'm gonna go for him straight away. I don't even know if Paralyzing Palm works on these guys, but if I keep working on him, then I can knock him out. Yes, there we go. Gotta keep getting him. Nah, these guys. These guys are gonna get in the way. I gotta take care of him first. All right, he's paralyzed. That's good. He's down. I know there was a guy with a missile launcher in here earlier, but he's dead. Who else have we got? Oh well, he's dead anyway. Oh shit. Oh no, you don't. Shit. Okay, he's at half health. But, I decided that he is not going to be the first one I'm going to kill. I am going to go and fight all of these guys if I can. And maybe if I can take a death claw out as well, that'd be good. Have I paralysed him straight away? There we go. Nothing else seemed to be working, so I guess I'll just work on his dick hole. Maybe that'll kill him. So, you guys heard any good jokes lately? Because we're going to be here for a long time. Punching this guy to death. Oh, he's got two pips left. He's down to one. Yes! Three super mutants down. Two to go. Jesus Christ, this place is a war zone. I came back here after having a further search through the building. Just to see if I could get like the last few bits of XP points. And even more enemies have appeared. Well, I guess it's time to jump in then. And see if we can just get rid of everyone. Oh, actually. Take that guy out. I am going to need some more. There we go. Oh, it doesn't really matter. As I said, I can buy all the meds that I need, really. Get back here. What the hell? Did somebody have a fat man? They must have done. How could that explain me dying in one hit? Right, if I focus on the mercenaries when they appear, then I know that one of them's going to have a fat man on them. So I'll know to take care of them first. Oh, they're starting to appear. There he is. That's the guy. That's right, you drop it. Get out of here. I guess that thing's pretty useless anyway, so I'll take it with me. Stop them from using it, I suppose. And now for the master. There we go, he's knocked out. Time to get him while he's on the ropes. Oh, level up. Level 20. Now, 
where do I put my points into? Last batch of points. Um, I may as well just level out my lockpick so I can get that to easy. Um, like, what else could I put it into? Um, I don't know. Maybe, um, maybe speech, I guess? I don't know. Fuck it. Now, if you go all the way down here, we have got Explorer, which reveals every location on the map, which I guess is pretty useful. Grim Reaper Sprint, so if I kill a target in VAT, all my action points are restored. So, that means, well, well, it's kind of pretty self-explanatory, really. I don't really think I need to expand on that. And Solar Powered, so whilst I'm out in the sun, I gain an additional two points to strength, which is kind of pointless, seeing as my strength is already maxed out. But I slowly regenerate health. Now, I'm torn between Solar Powered and Grim Reaper Sprint. Um, what do I go for? Well, I don't really tend to use Vats a lot. And even when I do, it hardly kills them. So I'm going to go with Solar Powered. Because even though the increase in strength is a bit of a waste, I do slowly regenerate health while I'm in the sun. And of course, praise the sun. Alright, the next location I need to head to is a place called Jury Street Metro Station. And I think that the fourth super mutant behemoth that we're after is somewhere around there. So it's good that I've completed, I guess, my tertiary objective of getting to level 20. I can't really say that I finished my secondary objective of killing a Deathclaw because he was kind of weak. So I want to... I was a giant rat scorpion. So yeah, I want to find like a proper healthy one if I can, I guess, as it were. So don't tell me this guy's going to kill me. Oh no, you're not. You're not having me today. I am on a mission from God. Oh great, another group of Enclave soldiers with a death claw. Oh well he's pretty close to dead anyway. Oh yes. Well, I suppose that I can add two to my list. Not necessarily two that I've wanted to kill in an ideal situation. But we're getting somewhere. Let me just finish these guys off. Assuming they don't kill me first. Shut up. I've had enough of you. There's another death claw? Oh my god. Right, I'll take him out. Holy crap. I'm going to be dead if I'm not careful. That is nowhere near him. At least move him away from me. Oh yes, paralyzed him. Okay, that's good. That'll give me a chance to heal. And at least take care of these guys who are actually active while I get the chance. Okay, he's down. And now, for this guy. Right, now to quickly take care of that death claw before he gets back up again. You know what, I guess I could call this a successful fight. I mean, it's not like he's exactly, like, weakened or anything. Yeah, that'll do it. I've killed like three of these guys already. That's got to count for something. Okay, here's the metro station. Now, where's the behemoth? Because I swear, my little uh, research that I did said that he's somewhere around here. Unless he takes a while to show up. There's something about train yards, I think. Which I believe said something about the west of the metro station, perhaps? I'll take a look around. Yep, these definitely look like train yards. And I can hear noises coming from them. That's not anything dangerous, is it? No? Wait a minute. I thought I saw something. No. Unless... Don't tell me he's been killed. What's that meat there for? This looks... Oh, that's fine. It's not really part of anything. Oh! Oh, here's a teddy bear. What are you doing here? Okay, then. Um, well... I suppose that's something, I guess. Um, hmm. I'm not sure I like this. This feels like a trap. That's because it was a trap. Okay, then. Time to use buff out. I'll take you on. Wait a minute, actually. I'm going to save it first because I don't want to do all of that again. And at least then I'll get right back into the fight if I 
happen to die. So, let's do this. Come on. There we go. Right. Have at thee. Alright, got him knocked out. Am I actually hitting him? Well, I'm inside him, so that's got to do some damage, I guess. There we go. Just keep working on his shins. And eventually I'll take him out. Oh, medic's withdrawal. Don't want that. Uh, Where's my... There it is. I should definitely sort myself out with the uh, my first infirmary when I get the chance as well. Screw it. Why not just take some jet as well? Perhaps I can get a good paralyzing palm on this guy the next time he gets back up. It's weird, like, the hit detection on this thing. I mean, I don't suppose a lot of people try this approach anyway, so it's not like it's going to be exactly ironed out very well. Oh, come on. If I can just get... Did that hit him? Oh, critical strike. Okay, that's good. Oh, knocked him out again. If I can just keep doing this. Alright, he's getting down to half health. Mash R1 to win. Eventually. Let me just heal myself again. Yes, there we go. Just gotta keep going. In fact, this makes me think, I'm pretty sure there were unarmed weapons which were like boxing gloves or something. And they actually did knock your enemy out, but I can just do this with nothing now, which is kind of OP. Now for the final hit. Are you fucking for real? Okay, you join us halfway through round two, and I sure as hell am not gonna let something as stupid as that happen again. Am I actually doing any damage to him like this? Because his head is just bopping around like it's a, like it's one of those little bobble heads you get on like a, a, like a, like a car or something, or even on your mantelpiece. You could have one on your mantelpiece, couldn't you? Wow, he's just flipping out. He can't handle this tech. Let's get a good third-person view of this action. Oh my God, he's floating in midair. Oh wait, heal. There we go. Last few hits. Yes! Four down, only one more to go. So the last super mutant is somewhere in between Tacoma Park and Tacoma Industrial. Two places that I have never been to because when I did play Fallout 3, like back when it kind of first came out, I wasn't really one for exploring like very, very deeply. So there are a lot of places and quests that I probably missed out. But we are going to see if we can find this Tacoma Park and see if we can get to the final Soup Mutant Behemoth. Okay, I'm starting to hear explosions now. I have a feeling the Soup Mutant's over there. We might be getting close. Let's see what these guys are up to. Maybe... Maybe they can lead me to the behemoth. What have they got? Who are they fighting against? Well, oh no! You are not turning that thing on me. Stop it! If I can just get... Oh, here we go. I thought he was going to try and take me out with his fists then. He clearly tried to. But you are no match for my skill. And the fact that my unarmed skill is 100. Who are they fighting against? Oh, it's Brotherhood of Steel. Okay. Hey guys, how's it going? Have, uh, have any of you seen where uh, Tacoma Park might be? Because I kind of need to find my way there. Nope. I was not close earlier. I've still got a lot of sets of tunnels to go through, I think. But seeing as there are a lot of blips on my map kind of telling me that there are a lot of tunnels I need to go through... We are just going to go straight ahead to when I even get remotely close to where I need to be. Okay, 
I'm now at Tacoma Park, and under the fires of the rising sun, I shall find my target. But the question is, where is he? I've certainly never been here before. It doesn't look familiar at all. Oh, is that... Oh, we've already got suit mutants. And, of course, there's a master with a rocket launcher. Okay, get that. Oh, of course, I'm regenerating health now, aren't I? Because I'm in the sun. So that should be kind of helpful, I guess. Holy crap. This is getting really intense really fast. Which means... Psycho. Medex. And that'll do me. I have seriously got to take this guy out, though. The other guys, I'm not too worried about, because they all don't have rocket launchers. I've just got to go for it. Oh, need health. Wait, how many do I need? I don't want to waste more stim packs than I really need to. Yep, that'll do him. Get down. Come on, why isn't this doing any damage? There we go. And now for this guy. Oh, he's down. There we go. Right. Let me just take a minute to recuperate. Oh, we've got another marker over here. Who is that? Is that a little encampment? It is. And there's a guy who's stuck behind a car. Well, at least... Oh. I was going to say, at least he's not going anywhere. It seems I have budged him out of his predicament. And I've put him straight back into another one. There you go. Um, oh, first aid box. Loads of stim packs in here. That's good. I'm going to need as many of those as I can. I guess. Um, where's Tacoma Industrial at anyway? I guess I'll just keep going through here. Maybe, maybe I'll find more enemies to kill. Okay. Through the gates. Now, what have we got here? This this area almost feels like a dungeon, in a way. Ah, yes. This looks just about big enough to house a super mutant behemoth. Wait a minute, is that? Oh no, that's just barrels of radiation. I thought there was one around here. Okay, Tacoma Industrial. Of course, we got Talon Mercenaries. There seems to be, like, whenever there are suit mutants around here, there are always Talon Company Mercenaries. Somebody's got a rocket launcher by the sound of it. Or some other kind of explosive weapon. Oh no, my health. Mash. There we go. Okay. Only a couple of guys left. And now... Is he... Oh, no. Oh, come on. Yes. Now, where's the behemoth, though? I swear there was supposed to be one around here. Unless he doesn't turn up for some time. Maybe I'll just keep going? Keep looking around, maybe? Oh, there's open outwards. Okay, that's fine. Um, what about here? Oh, come on. If one doesn't pop out here, I'm not going to be all too impressed. There's loads of stim packs here. This guy's got a ton of stuff on him. So, that's got to be like, oh, hey, we know something's going to happen. So, why don't you have some supplies? Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, there he is. What does this switch do? Nothing, apparently. Oh, it's an artillery. It's an artillery strike. Okay, then. Um, oh, well, I want to turn that off if I can. Um, come on. I don't need this. As much as that's cool. Oh, it's off. Okay, good. I guess it only lasts for a certain amount of time. Right. I'm not going to have enough medex if it runs out to take out this guy out. So I'm just going to have to see if I can muster some psycho. Oh, no. Right, I'll paralyze him. 
and then I'll take care of his friends. Yep, he is straight down in there. Oh no, he's not. He's still up. Okay, more psycho. Um, maybe I'll take some jet too. Come on. I've seriously just got to knock this guy down. Okay, he's knocked out at least. Get some good hits on this guy. Glad I've got enough stim packs to survive this. I've got to take out all the small fry before I go for the behemoth. Nope, 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 nope. Come on, that's got to be a paralyzing strike. Okay, well, he's knocked out at least. We're getting there. Now then, I've got to keep an eye on this guy. Oh, he's getting up. Come on. All right. Now, if I can heal, it's just me and him. Oh my lord, my health. That's what you get for not getting medics. Round two, fight. Oh no, he's right on top of me. Oh god, I'm gonna be chewing through my stim packs like, like, I don't know, like, uh, I, I don't know, I don't have any comparisons, but at least he's paralyzed, so that should make things significantly easier. At least for me to take his friends out. This is between me and your fat friend over there. Alright. Get up! You and me have business. Oh wait, he's down already? Okay then, I guess I'll just keep going. Come on! Oh, you know what? I wish that... You know how, like, in Skyrim, you could get, like, special melee kills or whatever? Like, if it was a critical hit. Or, like, if there was some kind of... Like, those special hits that you can get with melee we Well, I say... Yeah, it is melee weapons, because it's not like those are the only things you can use. Those special hits you can get with melee weapons in Skyrim, where you get, like, those funny cinematics and stuff. I wish that you could get something like that with this, because you could get special kills with, like, just using your fists in Skyrim, where you would, like, choke slam the enemy, or you'd, like, just grab their throat and start punching them repeatedly. I mean, it would be cool if they did something like that in Fallout 4, but the reason why I'm thinking about that now is because imagine if I got, like, a critical strike like that on a behemoth and I just delivered a Shoryuken right into his chin. That would be amazing. Like, what a final kill that would be. Like, you just get the suit mute behemoth down to his last scraps of health. You see a glint in Harold Punch Party's eye and he just delivers a Shin Shoryuken to a suit mutant behemoth. I would love that. Oh no! My health! Mein Lieben! Oh god, no! Oh yeah! Right, I'm gonna celebrate properly. If I can get... There we go. Yeah! That's right. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Now that that's done, I could end this episode. But, I have one more thing I'm pretty... Well... I have one more thing that I would like to disclose with you guys. Now that Harold Punch Party is essentially god tier, there's a few changes that I want to make to him. Kind of like how I gave Ozzy in Bloodborne that Kanehurst armor, I've been preparing my own little setup for Harold Punch Party. If we can get some good lighting on him, there we go. I have found, well not necessarily found, I have acquired Alistair Tenpenny's suit. And that, combined with Button's wig, gives me a pretty good look for him. So I'm thinking, I could kind of like, send him into the final battle like this, as like his final form. Or maybe I could tweak his facial hair a little bit. 
In fact, I think I will do that. Maybe give him some better facial hair to go with the wig and maybe make it a bit white. But I am going to be posting like some pictures on Twitter and Facebook and all that lot for anyone who doesn't really get this far. Well but I suppose if you do, then you'll see what I have planned. So I have two options really for what I want to do. The first style involves sort of keeping him very similar appearance. The only real exception is making his facial hair completely white because I'm not, I wasn't really sure whether to like keep it the same or do anything a bit differently. But I kind of figured that it's become a staple now with the uh, with the, uh, the the chin clipping through the beard there. So I kept that. That's the first idea that I've got. The second one, something a bit more extravagant. The second style I had in mind is really the closest I can get him to looking Super Saiyan. Since the hair isn't really as long as I could really like for it. Obviously give him a much bigger beard because, well, I mean... Goku gets more hair the more, like, the higher he goes up to Super Saiyan. I mean, have you seen Super Saiyan level 3? That thing's crazy. So I kind of figured that the beard could go along the same sort of lines as well. But that's sort of the second idea. But really, it could be anything. Obviously, like, you could sort of have an idea of what kind of stars I have there. So that's kind of like, well, that's one sort of idea. This one and the one that was there previously. But... I could really be up for anything, really. I I guess I'm open to, to suggestions, but I'm going to be posting things like... I'm going to be posting pictures of these styles on Facebook and Twitter, and whatever gets, like, the most sort of praise or, or likes or, or whatever, really, I guess is the one that I'm going to be using. But until then, you've got quite some time to decide. And until then, I will see you guys later.